Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for checking out yet another video. I really appreciate it. My name is Rambino and guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys the story of how I tried to become Average Rob's TikTok editor. For those of you who don't know Average Rob, Average Rob is a YouTuber from Belgium who does a lot of the different things in his videos. Like, for example... Hi everybody, welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to do something very special. It is called wrestling. Hey, we're going to try and do... Tom Groffel. Pum pum pow. A backflip on a jet ski. <laughs> we're going to be snowboarding down a big ass pile of dirt. We're going to do some pole dancing. So this one day I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw a tweet from Average Rob. He said that he was looking for a TikTok editor, more specifically somebody to make TikToks out of his existing YouTube videos. Since I like his videos and also since I like editing, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. So I decided to apply for this job. But in order to apply for this job, I had to rewatch some of his videos. <laughs> After watching a lot of his videos, I came across a video that spoke to me on a personal level and that was the video where he and Arno were going to the Friture. They were going to do the ultimate Friture tier list. Why? Because it hasn't been done before. You have to understand one thing. The fries in Belgium are sacred, are sacred, are sacred, are sacred. Since I'm a Belgian as well, I also love French fries and I also like Friture snacks. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick this one. Now I had to make TikToks out of them. So I watched the video a first time and then I came across the scene where Arno is like, you know, shocked when Rob says that he's not really um, agreeing with the snacks that they are healthy, so they're actually pretty unhealthy. So the face that Arno makes in uh, this scene is actually, you know, something that I found very funny and I was like, okay, maybe I can exaggerate the, uh, his reaction a little bit and make a TikTok out of that. Alright guys, today is a very special day, as usual. Today we're going to do the ultimate friture tier list. Why? Because it hasn't been done before. A few moments later. This is what it looks like. At least 40 different choices in food, snacks. Is it healthy? Absolutely not. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Then I made another one because I was also like, okay, maybe I can also do something with, you know, their order because they are ordering every snack in the friture and I was like, okay, I can do something with this as well. So therefore I made a second one. So we want Mexican roulette again, Cervola, Kipper Bouches, Lucifer, Grizzly, Cito, Curwork Special, Bikini Normal, Bitter Balkers, Kip Fingers, Sateke, of course, Zako, A, Gas Cocket, Kip Color, Okay, the more Viander, 15 best sold sauces, Parmesan, Parmesan, Mayonnaise, Andalus, Yogi, Sabre, Special Sauce, Ketchup, Ah, Rich here, Bernays, yes, Stoffel Sauce, Luke Sauce, Fury Ketchup, Pickles, Wisconsin, so, yeah. We ordered everything. So instead of making only one video, I made two because I thought, okay, maybe that's also going to be something that will, how should I say this, like mm, make me stand out a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how I made those TikToks because uh, that would take a little bit too long. However, if you would like to see how you can actually make a TikTok like this, um, you know, comment down below and I'm going to make a tutorial, I guess. So, um, you know, if you want to see a tutorial on how to make TikToks in DaVinci Resolve, Comment down below. So after I was done editing, I decided to first show the TikToks to my friends so that I could get a little bit of feedback. They said they liked it and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just immediately gonna send it to Milan. So, you know, Average Rob's editor because I didn't want it to start doubting myself. And that's the reason that I like didn't wait a day or anything like that. I just immediately decided to send them. So I was waiting, I was checking my mails. I was waiting, I was checking my mails because I really wanted to know if they had actually picked me or not, or at least what they thought of my ideas or what they thought of my TikToks. After a few days, I finally got an email that said that they had received my TikToks, that they were very thankful for my application, but however that they picked somebody else. Was I disappointed? Eh, kind of, you know, because uh, I, it would have been cool to be his uh, TikTok editor. And, you know, also since I like editing, um, you know, it would be cool if maybe, you know, I can make a little extra money by doing this. However, I do gotta say that they were very kind, so, um, you know, they thanked me for sending the TikToks and they also decided to give some feedback on the TikToks. Um, so on the first TikTok, they said that um, the intro was a little bit too long, um, but that the idea was very good. As for the second TikTok, they suggested that I should, you know, uh, shorten the intro a little bit and then also 
um, list everything on the screen, actually what they're ordering. Um, maybe, you know, write down the name of the snack or maybe put a picture of the snack down. Um, so that way it's uh, visualized a little bit and you also uh, know what they're ordering if you don't understand them that well. So after that I received um, the feedback and their email, you know, I sent an email back thanking them for the feedback because, you know, it's the polite thing to do. Um, so if you ever get an email by somebody that says, okay, we didn't pick you, however, and they give you some tips, always write an email back saying thank you. It's just, you know, the polite thing to do. So I decided to remake the TikToks, but then with, you know, the tips that they gave me. And uh, I'm going to show those on screen right now. Today we're going to do the ultimate friture tier list. Why? Because it hasn't been done before. So it looks like at least 40 different choices in food, snacks. Is it healthy? Absolutely not. You were the chosen one! So we want Mexican, Boulette, Cervola, Kipper Barches, Lucifer, Grizzly, Cito, Pure Wars Special, Vicky Normal, Bitter Balakers, Kip Fingers, Sateke, of course, Taco, Ah, Cast Coquette, Kip Color, Okay, the movie on the 15 best sold sauces. Nice! We ordered everything. I do gotta say, I completely agree with them. The feedback was justified, and I do gotta say that I like the TikToks a lot more now, specifically because TikToks are short form content, so I was really happy that they said, okay, it, it's taking a little bit too long. Nobody is gonna watch the entire video, so you need to, you know, shorten it a little bit, so it's like more to the point. And that's the main reason that I was like, hey, okay, thank you so much for the feedback. I do gotta say guys, feedback is priceless because feedback is so important if you're making YouTube videos or if you're making TikToks or if you're doing anything um, that you can always improve yourself. Overall guys, I just gotta say that was a very nice experience to, you know, make TikToks for somebody else and to, you know, receive some feedback that was also very nice. And, you know, maybe in the future when I see another tweet or maybe another Instagram story, I don't know, of somebody saying that they need an editor, I'm definitely gonna apply again or I'm gonna try again. Because that's something that you shouldn't be afraid of if you get rejected the first time. You can always try again, try again, try again. And maybe, who knows, eventually I'll, you know, become somebody's editor, who knows. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. Bye!